Dear friends, we are going to look into what matplotlib is and what is the main use of it. It is a 2D plotting library that is used primarily for data visualization. Now, I am here on matplotlib uh, official website and if you look at some of the sample plots that they have, you will notice that they support almost any kind of 2D chart that you need for your data visualization. You have line, line plot, you have subplot, histograms, you have stream plots, bar chart, pie chart, basically any kind of chart that you will possibly need for your data visualization. Okay, now the question that arises is why do we need data visualization in first place? Let's say you have this kind of weather data where you have temperature information for uh, all of your weekdays. And if you ask me a question, what was the maximum temperature and minimum temperature? Now I can tell it by scanning through these data points one by one, but it's gonna be a little tedious. You know, when you present this information in front of my eyes, I have to scan through each of these data points one by one versus if you represent the same information in form of this chart then i can quickly tell you when was the temperature highest and when was it lowest this is because human brains are wired to process images better than the text someone has rightly said a picture is worth a thousand words okay so now let's first install matplotlib now the way to in install matplotlib is by simply running pip command. So pip install matplotlib will install this for you. Now the second way to install matplotlib is by installing anaconda. I already have anaconda installed. So if I look at the packages which are coming in my conda list, you will notice that matplotlib is already part of the distribution so let's confirm that so i can see that matplotlib is here so i have it installed already so if you don't have anaconda uh, install then just uh, run a pip command here okay so the command was pip install matplotlib and that will install it for you all right now after matplotlib is installed I am going to run my Jupyter notebook to launch a sample notebook and we are quickly going to plot our uh, weather chart. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is import matplot, matplotlib.pyplot. Pyplot is the main plot object that you get in matplotlib module as plt. And also when you are using Jupyter Notebook, uh, you have to use matplotlib inline magic so that it can render the chart fine. Now I'm using Jupyter Notebook. You guys can use idle or pycharm, whatever is the ID of your choice. I like Jupyter Notebook because it's, it's great with a visualization in general. Okay. Now, after I have imported this, I'm going to just uh, copy my weather data here. So I have created two Python lists X and Y. X has number of weekdays and Y has the temperature information associated with it. And to simply plot this, you can run plot plt dot plot X Y command here, and that will plot your 2D chart. So now I can see that okay my maximum temperature was 52 and my minimum temperature was 46 on a day 7 okay now if you look at the api for plot uh, i just googled it and i found this api page for the plot and i can see it has a variety of options so for example one of the option is color so let's say by default, this chart is in blue color. If I want to change it to green, I can supply color argument. You can also supply line width. If you want to, if you want the line to be more thicker, you can just supply it to be five and you will see it will become more thicker. 
you can also supply line style i think that's what the name of the property is let's confirm it so line style yes so line style if you look at the possible values that line style takes it has dash dash dot so i'm just going to try dash dot so there is one dash one dot you can only have dot also oh dot is not supported it is dotted okay now my chart doesn't have x and y axis labels so i'm go i can set that by using x label function so plt dot x label my x label is day and my y label is temperature also i want to set title of my chart so my title of my chart is weather so you can see that now my x and y axis have labels and my chart also has a nice title okay so plot function has so many properties that you can play with since this is just an introduction tutorial i'm not going to go into details uh, so this is all i had for this tutorial uh, we'll cover more in uh, the next tutorial uh, i have a link to this sample jupyter notebook in the video description below so you can import it and start playing with it all right. Thank you very much. Goodbye.